Join me on Monday in the Ireland AM Grotto. It'll be full of children from all across the country trying out the top toys for Christmas. Now, yes, don't miss that on Monday. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic show. We have, we're showing you all the best top toys for Christmas. Now, going on to speaking of Christmas and the dinners we're going to have all over the Christmas period, the wines we're going to be drinking. And then, of course, after you have your dinner and your wine, you have your coffee. And that's where we're here this morning. And we're joined by Tim Kitchener-Smith, who is a wine and coffee sommelier. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. And uh, so that's an important part of your, your meal. You, you're having your nice glass of wine, your meal is finished, and then you move on to your coffee. But you're sort of saying the wine that you're having with your meal can sometimes determine the type of coffee you should be having. Well, I think what we're actually trying to talk about is the fact that everything, you know, wine is such a big commodity nowadays. What, what we've done at Espresso is actually bring out a range of coffees that are similar to wines. So if you're really into your wines and into flavours and nuances and different aromas, you can now get this through uh, these 12 premium blends that the Nespresso produces. So you're, you're, having a, you're having another experience with another your coffee. Experience. All right. And obviously, okay. depending on the mood that you're in, you can obviously choose... Now, and these, n these Nespresso machines are available in Brown Thomas in Dublin and in Cork. Mm -hmm. They're only available in Brown Thomas in Dublin and Cork, mm -hmm. and they're brand new on the market into Ireland. This is the brand new Latissimo machine. Um, yep, currently 399 euros. Um, no, it's fantastic. It's actually, yeah, brand new, brand spanking new. And it's actually got a, a separate entity which you can put on to make the perfect latte. And obviously, finished product we, here. We have some here. Yep. Okay, so let's talk about the wines first then and the, what, what, you, the, what you would get with the wine and how you would um, carry on with that into your coffee. So what are we, what are we mm -hmm. mixing over here? Okay, uh, well the first one is actually Melitou Salon from the Loire Valley. So do you know Sancerre, Puy yes. Fume? Keep going. Nice Puy Fume. Absolutely. You come to a place called Melitou. This is actually 100% Sauvignon Blanc um, from the legend which is Honoré Pelé, 2006. Uh, I'll let you try a bit. Okay. The lovely thing about Menetou is the fact that it doesn't actually have that sort of crisp acidity, so that sort of bitingness that sort of you get from Sancerre. It's slightly more complex. Very nice. Um, much more sort of zingy, zesty in the mouth. Lovely. Beautiful with something like smoked salmon on Christmas morning. Okay, so what kind of coffee then would we follow that up with? Um, well, I think, generally speaking, maybe a um, little decaffeinate. A decaffeinate. Now, this is actually the simplest thing ever. You literally pull it up, stick the capsule in the top, press it down, get your little cup out. And you've got all the little buttons here, and you simply press. How much is this espresso. machine? That's 399 euros. 399 euro for yeah. that. That's fantastic. So if you're a real coffee lover, mm. this is perfect. So like you're sort of saying that this, now tell us what the, why you chose this particular coffee. Well, it's decaffeinated, so basically mm -hmm. it's a lot lighter. Yeah. Um, it's Arabica from actual, uh, it's Latin America, basically. Um, I'll let you try it. Look at that, it's like a little Guinness. Basically. It certainly <laughs> is, look, a little baby Guinness. But the aromas you're actually going to get from this, here we go, try that. Light sort of floral notes, and it's also, if you just whiz it around in a glass, it would have a, a, a glass, a of, glass wine, of wine. Now stick your nose back into it. And again, sort of lovely sort of yeah. breaded cereal notes, a little bit of biscuit perhaps. But on the finish, you've got light sort of floral tones. Mm, that's really nice. And crisp acidity, it's nice. That's it's really very nice. nice. So there's a whole range of the coffee here. You can see that you get this, little, you can buy this pack with it. Yep, of you all can. the coffees. Yes, absolutely. Well, there are 12 here, and basically it comes up in strength. So there's three decaffeinated, there's three Lungo. Lungo are actually a, a bigger cup for your sort of double size. And then it goes right up to Restretto, which is strength of 10, which will basically, if you drank one, it would simply pump you into orbit. OK, let's taste another wine and we'll have another coffee with that. Mm -hmm. This is great fun, isn't it, having coffee and wine? Oh, we're going on to the reds now. This so I take much. it now we're going to go on to a stronger coffee. Absolutely. Right, OK. So this is Heartland Director's Cut. Uh, this is from Limestone Coast in Australia. And this is your classic Shiraz. So think really, I mean, look at the colour. It's really, really full-bodied, very spicy, very rich. If you're going to have a really hearty, I don't know, uh, big bit of beef or something yeah, on Christmas Day, lovely that's, red with that. that's gorgeously smooth. 14.5%, so just be very, very careful. Okay, um, <laughs> not to be drinking too much of it. Yeah. So a coffee then that would go after, after dinner with that, if you've been having a nice big red, nice big steak. Yeah, absolutely, maybe the Voluto. Uh, now this is actually strength of four, so it's not really too overpowering. But what I love about this is it's incredibly dark and smooth and rich. Let's press the little button. Make sure I get that right. There we go. OK, so these are available. These uh, Nespresso machines and mm -hmm. all the coffees are available in Brown Thomas and Cork and Dublin. And are you doing something there tomorrow? I'm going to be down in Cork tomorrow at Brown Thomas from 12 till 2. And we're obviously going to be displaying all of our capsules, all of our machines. And teaching people and about coffee. Exactly, pretty much. Yeah, OK. Lots of fun. Stop. Very nice Very indeed. Nice. nice Christmas present, wouldn't yeah, it? If somebody, if somebody is a really big fan of coffee, that's a fantastic well, Christmas present. Well, this isn't present. our only machine. We do actually have a whole range. This is the new on, one. Yeah, this, yeah, depending on obviously cost. I think the cheapest one is about 149 euros. And Porsche Siemens have actually done a, 
a joint venture, and that's nearly a thousand euros. So depending on your budget, basically. But it's the same principle. We all come with all these different capsules, and they're a and lot of fun. For a lot of fun connoisseur. for the coffee connoisseur, and so easy to make, which so is very important in the lifestyle that we have at the moment. Tim, thank you very much for coming in Love this morning. Meeting. Thank you thank very you. much. So uh, that, as I said, Tim will be in Brown Thomas in Cork tomorrow between twelve and to showing you about all, all the coffees and all the, the latest new machine that's on offer here in Ireland in Brown Thomas. OK, we're going to go back into studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, coming up after the break, we'll be meeting two young women who have suffered from the crippling condition of rheumatoid arthritis, one of them since she was four years old.